good, good, good. I'll plonk the lid on there. I don't want to defrost these too quickly. So, that should limit the amount of oxidation, but they should also defrost. I just want to have a quick attempt at seeing how less brown they get. That doesn't make sense, does it? How less brown they get um, by limiting the oxidation. Well, I think restricting the amount of oxygen has actually had uh, no significant impact whatsoever. <laughs> oh well. So this is now the last apple pressing because we have no more apples. Um, let's get it done. Let's see how much we get, eh? I thought I'd do this in two batches. So a little over half, probably two thirds uh, pressed first. We got nearly 10 litres out of it. And that's what I'd show these again, these tiny little flats, squished it apples. Which well, doesn't seem too bad. Certainly a lot cleaner than the scratching. So anyway, guess where these are going to go? Back in a very low oven to dehydrate. This is uh, from... That's the... Sorry, I've got a shadow in there. That's from the bottom, sort of like two inches. So it's not bad. It's not bad. I think the way they do squish together, there's always going to be some voids that they, they fill and don't squish up proper but all in all not too bad that's pretty good we've got about uh what 17 ish and then there's just under two there from uh, a similar apple sort kind variety now um because this is all from one one tree as it were, one batch of apples. I'm going to try and keep it, apart from the addition of that, that's just to bulk it up a little bit, probably to just under 19, 20 ish. Um, but I'm going to put it into, I've just cleaned and sanitized um, a fermenter with a tap, because this bucket here hasn't got a tap. So I'm going to plonk it all in here, that and that, and then I'm going to chuck probably four Camden tablets in there and leave it till this time tomorrow just to kill off any natural yeasts because this one isn't going to be don't want spontaneous fermentation this one I'm going to use a different side of yeast in I know look how adventurous am I getting all right so let's get all that ready and get the uh, get the Camden in there oh that's pretty good according to this we have 18 and a half litres in all. Pleased with that. Four Camden tablets weighs about two grams. So I've got 2.2 grams of sodium metabisulfite in there. Give it a stir and pop it in the fridge. This will not be staying like this. Uh, I'm gonna cut some sheet steel tomorrow to replace these glass shelves. Mainly because, as you will probably remember if you've watched some of my videos before, I don't like glass shelves, <laughs> um, strong though they may be. Uh, so I'm gonna get two steel shelves in here so I can get two fermenters in here, should I ever want to do so. Uh, but for now, essentially, I'm just leaving this in here overnight to uh, let the sodium metabisulfite do its ting. Down there, you can see the drain owl. You can't, but anyway, there's a drain owl down there. There you go, I could just about get you to it. I'm going to try and expand the hell so I can pop the heater cable through. The heater's obviously going to go down here. 
sure I'll find a use for that. Um, and then the cable through the back up into the ink bird. But for now, wow! <sighs> Getting ready for the second of the ciders. A quick audit, thinks I. So we've probably got here with these two and these a couple of kegs worth. So we've got one finished fermenting, one about to ferment. So that's two. This makes four. So in here we've got probably five and those and that and the little bit from earlier makes six, six kegs. I think that's a pretty good return this year as this is our first year to be getting somewhere in the region of six kegs of cider. Um, 120 litres and free tasting for members obviously now's the bit where I um, I spray everything and clean it all up and I'm going to clean this up ready for next year now I usually will just wash it down with water and then spray it with star sand I'm going to use um, this antibacterial uh, spray cleaning spray as we're shutting it all down now for the rest of the year will come out again when we get some apples next year so let's um, capture that as it comes through there was a little bit that of apple juice I should really have put it in the thing but you know uh, so the cage and the wooden blocks are everything are upstairs I've just washed those um, soak them in sodium percarbonate so they've been washed when they're dry that and this will be packed away i'll unscrew it all i think it's done well that little thing from uh, team sdh simon dawn harry um, a few modifications next year i'm still going to use the basket but i want to go hydraulic but i mean like six kegs worth you've done all right little press so you have okay Oh, this is a bit disappointing after uh, five days there's uh, no sign of fermentationing so I'm going to use a wine yeast I'm going to use a fruit white wine fruity wine yeast I have got some more um, cider yeasts upstairs I think I'm going to give this a try, see where we go with this. I don't want it to ferment out too dry. It's currently at 105.3. The uh, Specifici Gravite. So we'll see where we go with this. But I need to dunk this in some star sand before I chuck it in uh, to make sure that everything is sanitised. Oh, well, that's that pitched. <coughs> we will now give it, I think, probably... 24 hours it's currently sat at about 20 degrees but I'm going to drop it down this one will ferment down to 8 to 15 degrees ish so I'm going to drop it down to 15 degrees I want to give it a nice slow fermentation indeed if it does even start fermenting um, to bring out some of that nice fruity appley flavour 28th of December and I've just kegged sorry I better turn it around that way the blackberry tart blackberry sour slightly tart and uh, this is what was left in the fermenter now those are the slightly mushed up blackberries we put in I know it would have been possible possibly to get another uh, what oh Maybe we've got another half litre out of there, but not too bothered. Um, oh, look at that. Ready to get chucked out of Yorkshire. Um, I chucked it through a filter. This is the medium density filter. It's pulled out exactly 
the bits I wanted it to pull out. You didn't want to go much finer than that. So there we go. That's five kegged. Is it five kegged? Four kegged. Because there's still... That was number five. Might be five. No, it's five kegged. This one. Where I pop the... Um, Four keg, didn't it? Four, five, five. Yeah, four. So that's the fourth we've kegged. But this one still isn't. Come on, stop dancing around. This isn't strictly. It still isn't really doing very much, but I pitched that second lot of yeast yesterday. Let's um let's see where it goes in a couple of days. There's me in there. Hello, look. Alright. Alright, so I think we'll feed this. To the fishies i might pull off a little bit might yank a little bit off there into a glass and let it settle and give it a bit of a taster later special time cider number five going into corny I had a taste of this yesterday and what i've done i ever so slightly pressurized this with co2 Tasted it yesterday, it's ever so slightly effervescent. Beautiful, beautiful, just lovely, lovely flavour. Um, but again, quite hazy, quite cloudy, which I haven't got a problem with, if I'm honest. Now I took this off the, um, the main tube, um, and uh, this is all that's left now i've cold crashed it after the second uh little little go at uh, fermenting it because i had some problems with this i don't know why i just didn't want to go so uh, a couple of different lots of yeast went in but now it tastes the business very very impressed so we'll get this out gradually now into corny and then it can go into the upstairs cellar to mature just thought i'd have a quick look at what's left after uh, filling the keg and um yeah potentially if i hadn't disturbed it we could have got maybe another liter possibly half a liter but not necessary we've got a full full corny keg out of it now this is interesting, look, all those bubbles is because I actually put it under pressure, I CO2'd it for a couple of days, so it has been um, carbonated. Now I did a complete closed transfer going into the keg, so there's no oxygen involved. So this is now, if I weren't going to uh, age it, it's pretty much ready to drink. Now that tube down there was released when I took the cap off. It's not really focusing very well, but um, this was a nice compact tube um, or lease. I'm not sure what you call it with cider at the bottom. Um, and then transferring it, it remained nice and compact. And it was only when I took the cap off that all of that CO2 then stirred up all this crap at the bottom. And this is also what happens when you've got a bottle of beer, which is over carbonated. Um, and there's, um, there's a video from, uh, I'll put a link to it if I remember, underneath about how to salvage an over carbonated bottle of beer. Because as soon as you take the cap off an over -carb carbonated bottle of beer, it will pull all of this tube up into the drink so I think what Andrew did was run it for a pair of tights a muslin cloth would do just as well I should imagine but uh, there you go but that's so there we have that's what's left from cider number five and it smells amazing it's in a keg in the cellar and we'll be tasting it sometime around June and for those who want to do 
I clean these firm zillas out this is basically a water butt pump in a big bucket and uh, I can then put a spinny ball on which makes a marginal difference so that's the basic flushing it all out I've tipped the tube away I did wonder whether or not I should harvest some of that yeast because that will be a good mix of yeast because um, I had trouble getting that started so I used um, two different yeasts I think but uh, we'll have a proper experiment next year so now that's rinsed out I'll now uh, dump all that water in there and put some cleaning solution in there because I'm cleaning this I'm going to give the mash tun wherever it is down here another bit of a clean and there's a couple more firm zillas there's one down there one over there I'm going to give them all a good clean as well so we're getting ready to brew not a cider but a beer Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. We, people will have the confidence to stay nearer the place they grew up to start business, and business uh, will have the confidence uh, to.